we sang a new song that began, My Beloved is the Most Beautiful Among Thousands. It comes, if you didn't know, it comes from the Song of Solomon. It sounds like it does, My Beloved. The, lo the Song of Solomon is the love song of the Bible, long understood as an allegory of God and His people. God is the bridegroom. Israel saw it, so the bride as Israel, and they're certainly, that's certainly scriptural. And the church has seen Messiah, God, bridegroom, and the church as the bride, and that's true too. Both are, it's all linked together. So it contains some of the most uh, deep and intimate truths about God and you, the love of the bride and the bridegroom. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, you don't have to turn, you can just listen, verse 9 says this, says this. Ma, I'm gonna, let, me, let me tell you how it sounds in the original. Ma dodecha midod, what kind of beloved is your beloved? They ask the bride, what kind of ma dodecha, the word for do, beloved, you should know it, my beloved is dodi. Dodi, that means my beloved, simply beloved is dod, your beloved is dodecha. So, what kind of beloved is your beloved, O most beautiful among women, that you make us swear in this way? What kind of beloved is your beloved? And the bride answers. So this is the bride, and so spiritually it would speak of God, of Messiah. The bride answers, my beloved is, and then she uses the Hebrew word, tzach. <laughs> Try it. Tzach. That's two Hebrew words, that we don't, letters we don't normally use. Tzach which means my beloved is dazzling, dazzling, sunny, bright, glaring, radiant, dazzlingly bright. My beloved is dazzling. And then she says, she says, and Adom, what does that sound like, Adom? It means red or ruddy. It's the word used of David was ruddy, red, or rosy. It's linked to the word Adam, Adom, which is Adam, which means mankind because man was taken from the red earth of the Middle East. So you have Adam. So my beloved is dazzling and rosy. Then, then she says, and then uses the word Dagal, which she says, you know, you see dancers there raising banners. You saw it tonight, raising banners. Dagal means a lifted banner. It means, it means something that is conspicuous, high above everything else. It stands out. It's like a banner in a crowd. It, it stands out. And so it says, my beloved is like, it, it's like, in the Hebrew, is like a banner that stands out. The word that is flaunted. And then it says the word, the word is Rebeva, which means among thousands and thousands. In other words, my beloved stands out. You could have thousands and thousands and thou tens of thousands. My beloved stand, will stand out in that crowd. My beloved is dazzling, but he stands out. Now spiritually, the Song of Solomon would speak of the bride, us, and each of us, and speaking, now it's the bride speaking about the bridegroom who is Messiah. So this speaks of the bride speaking of the Lord. The bride here is, is, is delighting in her bridegroom, comparing him to ten thousands of others. She's comparing him. She says, you could have ten of thousands. You could have millions. My beloved's going to stand out. She's comparing him. Now, 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 listen to what Messiah said. Matthew 10, verse 37. Anyone who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. That's big. That's heavy. That's a challenge to the disciples he's talking about. What's he saying? Anything that you put over him, over God, is an idol. That's what the Bible says. You put money over him, idol. Success, idol. Fame, idol. Comfort, religion, idol. Career, marriage, even a loved one, idol. Abraham had to be willing to offer up Isaac. Anytime you hold anything above God, yourself, idol. Because whatever you put above God is your God. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed. And share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.